Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. You know what? We have a, a very, very important subject, old-timers. And we have Mrs. Margaret Baltimore here, who has firsthand is out there trying to get information to all of you people. There's thousands of people out there. And this organization is called Trayball. And I asked her, basically, what was it about? And she has some personal to tell you about her naming this nonprofit organization and trying to get people in this county and this state and this country involved in taking care of all timers through research and volunteer. Margaret. Good Welcome to the Ed Brown Show. Uh, thank I mean, you for I, I, me. I, I've been waiting for you for three weeks, you know, <laughs> and, I, and I, I was so three weeks ago, you were telling me about this program that you had, that you're going, you, and you retired uh, yes. government worker, is right. that right? Department of State. Department of State, yeah. and uh, I, I, I just couldn't wait. Like, like I said, I've had uh, promos on this show. Uh, for the last three weeks because I feel that all timers is something that we take lightly. A lot of people don't realize and you have the stats, you know, mm -hmm. to realize it's something that we are not serving the people through any research as far as all time is concerned. Okay, tell us about yourself and, and tell us how you developed that name. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well uh, at, while I was at work one day, I got the phone call from the doctor and it was confirmed that my husband had early stages of Alzheimer's. And that hit me like a ton of bricks, like it does most people. So the name came from that. His name is Robert, and it's Robert spelled backward. Unique. Robert is R-O-B-E-R-T. Who, who thought of that? I did. You did? Yes. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we teased him quite a bit sometime about uh, name spelled backwards, tree bore. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, what a perfect uh, name for the center. Yes. It would be named after him. And so what happened, it, I had started looking for assistance, for help. And that was very hard to find. There very difficult. Are, there are senior centers in Prince George's County, and I'm not taking any of the dedicated hard work of the people that are working and running the centers. But if you need something specific like Alzheimer's, then that's where I, my center will come in, is being specific uh, with the sign out front that says Alzheimer's Daycare uh, Support Center. The center part of the uh, daycare is working with the caregivers. We have 97,000 people in Prince George's County with Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, right. 97,000. And there, that means that there's at least 97,000 caregivers. Right. So that's a trying day for so many of our residents in Prince George's County. It's very trying. You you never know each day what it's going to bring. Right. And it does take up so much of your time and your energy and patience. You need yes. a lot of patience. Uh, Especially so when you have individuals that have been very active and all of a sudden, you know, they contact uh, this disabling uh, uh, disease to, right. to the point that they they are not uh, responding Fun normally. They're no, not functioning. Yeah. Can't keep up with things. Yeah. Um, things get them that smaller tasks, day to day tasks. They get upset because right. they cannot do them any longer. Yes, yeah, because they've been doing them 30, 40 yeah. years. Then all of a sudden, uh, you can see how that will affect your mind. Something that you Usually, uh, you, you know, you don't even think about doing it. You know, it's right. just like putting on your clothes. You put on your socks and, put on, and things but like when that. When you have this disease, you do forget how to put on your clothes. You forget how to swallow. You forget quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And the uh, one, like you were just saying, the tasks that you do. You, uh, my husband loved yard work. 
right. landscaping. The grass mm -hmm. had to be four inches on the hill <laughs> and three inches in the lower part. And mm -hmm. He was just very uh, into b having a beautiful maintained lawn. Manicured. And manicured. <laughs> and he missed doing that. Now yes. he even talks about it. We have someone to help us to do these type of things, but he wants to do that. And that makes him very sad. Yes. Because he can't do that right. anymore. Especially when you're active for long periods of time. That's right. See, th th those are the things that people don't understand, you know, ab about it. You know, they've never experienced that type of uh, handicap. That's so true. Mm -hmm. And with, as far as the caregiver or the center part of it, this is where I would like people to come in and we can have counseling and, and seminars on how you take care of a, of a patient or person or your loved one with Alzheimer's. So it's also working that part of it, which is so important mm -hmm. because day to day, there is always an adventure mm -hmm. when you're working or helping or assisting someone with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. There's always an adventure. So that's very important. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why I want and, and this center, uh, you're going to uh, maintain that with uh, volunteers because... Well, we uh, will have some paid and some volunteers. But this center is going to be unusual because I want students to come in. I mm -hmm. want nurses... Good. I want nurses to learn uh, that are in training to be nurses mm -hmm. to come in and work in in the center and and, and do re, you know work mm -hmm. with us and, and uh, actually you can work with the universities uh, you know exactly. uh, uh, young people that are majoring in uh, medicine or yes. majoring in uh, those type of things associated with, with uh, uh, dementia and and, and, right. and that type of thing so it it will be uh, a center that is giving, so it's going to give so much back mm -hmm. because now we're training, uh, if there's an opportunity for learning and training and working with, uh, there's also uh, the opportunity for the caregiver to have a break if she has to go and have dental yes, work right. or have need to get her, her glasses mm -hmm. or she has to attend a funeral. Where do you leave the loved ones? And then let's not leave out the safety part. Having a center, quite often today, people do not want, seniors do not want strangers coming in their home. Right. They just don't want it. Right. And I won't even go into all of that. Most of you already know why you don't want yeah, them in there. certainly. So bringing them to a daycare, the, you, you take out that, you, you put in that safety pause right. for that, that safety clause where you have taken them to a center versus having someone come in your home. Yes, because you, you don't know, you know, a situation you know, that occurred in Virginia there. They associate a lot of the uh, uh, crime and things with people breaking into seniors' home That's or right. either a repairman coming in and casing your home That's right. and then uh, telling someone else about what they saw, maybe they don't mean uh, any right. harm, but they see something that's outstanding yeah, mm -hmm. in your home, right. and uh, uh, they, they come back. Yeah, then they come back. See? That, that and that's so one of the true. things. That, and you, uh, you can't say, hey, well, I don't want a repairman here when the refrigerator goes out or the stove goes out or something like that. You got to have those people involved. See, but with the center that alleviates that. That's right. Mm. So you don't have that problem. We also, and I'm sure everybody in Prince George's County and in the state of Maryland is aware that we've had a lot of budget cuts. Mm. Now, the 24-hour centers, the, uh, um, day, not daycare, but mm. centers, nursing mm. homes, mm. the 24-hour nursing homes, um, you know, it takes quite a bit of money for that. Yes. And when people can't afford it. And they can't afford it. No. And uh, sometimes the, the state will chip in to help. But there's a waiting list. Mm -hmm. There is such a long waiting list for most of the the 24-hour nursing mm -hmm. homes that we have in mm -hmm. Prince George's County. Well, this is something, too, that uh, the uh, political system can put on their list as something that's needed, just like 
they talk about the streets and the traffic lights and the roads and things like that. But this is, is this is something that everybody eventually is going to be affected by this disease, either themselves or someone in the family. And, and that I found that out at the walk mm. that I had this past. Um, okay, <laughs> that's what we're going to talk. talk. Tell us about this walk that you've had. Uh, I, we uh, had and, our first uh, Alzheimer's uh, tree war walk mm -hmm. uh, May the 9th. It was a success, mm -hmm. and I'm sure next year it'll be a larger success. Mm -hmm. uh, I We had so many sponsors. I know I must have had at least 15 sponsors. Great. Uh, we had about 100 people to 110 walking. Mm -hmm. uh, we had speakers, uh, Senator Benson. Oh, great. We had, uh, now, we're speaking of po politicians, Ms. Yes. Uh, Senator Benson. Jump and right she, in, huh? Yes, she uh, she has been on board with helping me with this all along. Good. We had um, our state's attorney, uh, Ms. Alsabrook. All right. She spoke. And we had our lieutenant governor's wife, mm -hmm. uh, Carmen. She spoke because her mother has Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, and then we had... Um, uh, our delegate Derek Davis mm -hmm. was there, and he has been talking with me, and what can he do to help, and things like that in reference to this. All of them there were, uh, also Miss Turner, Ingrid mm -hmm. Turner was there. Oh, great. So we did have a good turnout. We did have uh, our local political people that are involved, and they're concerned, and they are working with me to make the center happen. Right. So I'm very thankful <coughs> and it's a mm -hmm. blessing that that is happening. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Uh, and, and where was this held? This was at Watkins Park. Watkins Park. And it started at, uh, the registration started at 8 and the walk started at 9. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a beautiful day, a little misty, mm -hmm. but everyone was happy with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had everyone had their T-shirts on, and they were. Oh, you had T-shirts. You, you didn't bring me a T-shirt. Oh, you to had to walk you. in order to get a T-shirt. <laughs> no, right? I would bring you a T-shirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> so everyone was there, and they were very charged up. There wasn't a single person that was walking that didn't have someone that was affected in some way in their family or neighbors, yes. neighborhoods mm -hmm. with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. Not one single person there. Because uh, really the Civic Association should be involved in this uh, because of the fact that they're the ones that know the individuals that, uh, like you said, your husband mm -hmm. used to manicure it alone. All right. of a sudden, he's not manicured. Right. And uh, you go back and forth in your neighborhood right. and you notice the lawns or or things that right. have been done. And a simple thing like putting out the trash. Yes. You know, that yes. people notice in, in one neighborhood where they, it happened where the trash had piled up because the gentleman had uh, Alzheimer's. Right. And uh, his wife couldn't lift the cans. That simple thing, you know. Yes. And uh, the Civic Association, uh, they got into the vet helping the seniors. Now, actually, they could uh, form a senior uh, club where the seniors could call in the neighborhood and have little things like that done for them. And because I intend to have that. Mm -hmm. It's called the hotline. Oh. And you can call into the center All right. if there's any questions, services, I can refer you to uh, one of our Department of Aging's, Ms. Grant, mm -hmm. you, I, you can refer people to the right place to get Ex assistance. Exactly, to get, get, to the, get things, the things, the things they, they normally need. used to do. Right. I mean, and, and, and a lot of them have pride, too, right. you know, is that they don't want to, the things that they've been doing, they don't want to have to call someone else to do it because they're a disease. That's right. You know what I mean? That's and right. so, but I was thinking in terms of the Civic Association really getting involved because they're closer to the individuals, mm -hmm. you know, the homes and things of that nature. But I, I think what you're talking about, this is really 
a, a, a perfect thing having a center where an individual maybe they don't know their neighbors or they or, or, or whatever. Well, they would if they had to have information about Alzheimer's that they willingly could uh, call. Right. Or either go by and talk to someone. Well, these are the things that the center will be working on. Mm -hmm. Neighborhoods. Do you have uh, patients in, uh, or, or residents rather, in the neighborhood that has Alzheimer's? Right. You could talk to, you could get the center, the, the civic associations to be involved. Exactly. To be on lookout for things like that. That's what the center will do. Because see, the civic association, it'd be associated, well, if, if it's just a neighbor, maybe the person doesn't go to civic meetings, right. you know, okay? But going to civic meetings, they find out there's a lot of services right. that they can find out about without, uh, uh, that's true. You ask the, the neighbors, you exactly. know. See, see, so they, they don't want to ask the neighbor, neighbors. you know. So they what they do, they call the Civic Association and ask them, do you uh, have a service concerning uh, Alzheimer's, That's you know. Right. And, they, and they would be able to give them information about our center. And, and I planned on doing that. I, mm -hmm. I want the... Uh, the communities to know about the center. I want them to, that, that'll be first and foremost on their mind. I will pick up the phone and call the center. Mm -hmm. And you right. have phone numbers there. We will, uh, maybe I can partnership with the hospital to have maybe the ones that are very sick, we could have an emergency, two rooms set aside for the center. Right. That if someone, say you had to go out of town, for a loved one's funeral, your mother, father, sister, mm -hmm. and you needed a place for them to stay overnight. Maybe one of the hospitals. I haven't worked on it yet, but mm -hmm. I plan Those to. Those are some of the things, things that you that have I would in, like the, to do in, in the future. Where, yeah. you know, we can call and say, we have an emergency. Mm -hmm. Can he stay in this mm -hmm. hospital overnight? Right, that right, type exactly. Of thing. Right. So you have a couple of beds or a couple of rooms set aside for just for mm. just that and for the center. Right. So it's that type of support that mm. you that I want to give uh, the neighbors, the our you know friends, our mm. loved ones. Uh, it's that type of support. Now you, you you founded this center two three years ago. Uh, it we've been working on it for two years. Two yes. years. Yes. Congratulations. It's a five hundred one c three. We did at least. We went to every daycare center in Prince George's County, and it was about seven mm -hmm. daycare centers. In Prince George's County. So we did our research. We uh, have talked to uh, medical people. We've had meetings and talked to them about the things mm -hmm. that is needed and will be needed mm -hmm. and how the center should be set up mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. And for the caregivers, we're going to have a, what I call a tranquility room, a quiet room, where if you're at wit's end that day and you need a break, you can bring him up. He can be on one side and you can be quiet on the other side mm -hmm. and just relax and maybe read some literature, talk to people, or somewhere along the line we can give you a break mm -hmm. that will help you out. Yes, that, that's, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's really something. And there's n no service like that functioning in uh, Not Prince George at County. This time. No, right, Not right. At this right. Time. That's, that's what I mean. But yeah. it's something that's needed. Oh, that's it's important so needed. that yes. everybody might need <laughs> anytime. <laughs> yes. Y y because when, uh, 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 from the medical uh, uh, reports and everything, you never know. That's true. Uh, and that uh, when it, it will strike someone. In your family, That's you true. know, maybe it's not your family. Uh, you figure that uh, they are uh, not uh, old enough, you know, to worry about that. But uh, uh, it, it, this this type of service, if we could get volunteers, how, how would volunteers? We can ask uh, people oh, to yes, volunteer. I'm ask Tell us the, about your volunteer program. Well, I'm going to have a volunteer program, mm -hmm. and I will have people that can help in with the center mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, being reading and, and uh, you know, just doing activities with 
the uh, patients that mm -hmm. are, are there. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, so I will have volunteers there, and we will have some paid staff, and mm -hmm. I will be reaching out to organizations that we have, mm -hmm. uh, Sisters for Sisters, uh, 100 Black Women, uh, thousand, Merlin Thousand Women. I will be asking these groups, because I belong to these organizations, mm -hmm. to and, you know, uh, maybe one or two or three women can come over mm -hmm. to the center mm -hmm. uh, from time to time. Mm -hmm. And most oh. of them have experience. Right. And what about professionals getting involved that, uh, that uh, associated with the research and things of that nature to make people understand? A lot of people really don't understand what is necessary in situations like national, that? Uh, the National Alzheimer's Association said they would love to come by okay. and share a lot and talk to us mm -hmm. about the research that they have done, what they're doing, where they're going with this, and just enlighten us mm -hmm. on everything that they have already been working on. Mm -hmm. And that's national. Mm -hmm. That's the one in, in uh, Manassas. And the Which, National uh, All Time is in, in, in Manassas, Virginia. Yes, they have a beautiful, beautiful building in mm -hmm. in uh, in Virginia. Uh, well, well, maybe you could uh, 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 get people to go on a, a, a tour over there because uh, a lot of people don't understand what it takes as far as All Time is concerned, and, and that facility you're talking about. It's, I mean, you take a bus ride, you mm -hmm. do, go to uh, picnics Pendle. and everything else, but yes. this would be something that a person would be preparing right. and be help them to develop uh, a center similar to yes. the, their headquarters. Right. That's true. So, and I do plan to do that. Yes. I do right. plan to put that together. Because? Because I think it would be great for them to see. Yeah. And they have centers in uh, Montgomery County mm -hmm. that's uh, uh, strictly for, for that. All timers, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah, they But do. Prince Georgiana, we don't have we, any center strictly yet. But we're, for, we're working on This it. is, oh, right, <laughs> strictly, strictly for, for all, all, all timers. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah, they you heard have. it then, Prince George <laughs> County has to get on the ball here. All timers uh, <clears throat> has no or barriers, you know, it's no borders. It's, uh, it's out there and it's really happening everywhere, everywhere. And, and it hits you when you yeah. least expect it and sometimes you can't afford it. Right. But there's services that the center will be able to steer uh, people to and I think it's very important. That's why I've dedicated this show and the last three shows to uh, the Alzheimer's uh, uh, center because I think that uh, it, it, we don't have it here and we need it here. We do. So uh, I have one more uh, yes. that I would like to pen. There are over 286,000 dedicated caregivers in Maryland who provide unpaid care at home valued at more than four billion dollars. Is that right? Caregivers. That's, caregivers. That's caregivers. In other words, if your loved one is taking care of you, if she were getting paid, she or he were getting paid, the the it's worth over four billion dollars mm -hmm. for the people that are that, in that's involved that are in that are involved. Mm -hmm. In other words, we're working every day mm -hmm. and and doing things that we have to do, but we're not getting paid for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it's it's, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. it really so uh, you you have uh, your uh, uh, contact and everything uh, on the screen there. Concern? Well, no, uh, uh, we have uh, a website. It's, what is your uh, website? www. treeborecenter. Mm -hmm. org. Mm -hmm. And I'll say it again. It's www.treeborecenter.org. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, what about, uh, I always like to bring the young people in things like this, uh, uh, although uh, most of them not interested in uh, uh, all time as they figure they're too young for it. But uh, what about training uh, well, I do because some, uh, a lot of young people have grandfathers and grandmothers right. and things like that. We and, do want to do And that. they have to understand, you know, what this uh, disease is about. 
what is that it's necessary for them to understand the individual that has it right. why they wow. have changed wow. you know over the years you know where like you were saying uh, individual have a hobby or something you've right. been doing or, or either working with the grandchild you know right it's, exactly it's, it's, the getting exposures for the young people I think is very it's critical very critical see very and again we will have counselors mm -hmm. from the different uh, that are majoring in medicine Great. that will that will come to the center and they can train adults they can talk about it they can open their eyes they can make them aware yeah of what yeah. is going a, a, on a training with, center a training center and that's, that's the center part that, connected with the daycare right and and that's very important uh, uh maybe we can get some uh, political might behind uh this uh, training center because hey look this is something that we all need we are eventually, searching see. funding and, we and, are and, searching and the for idea funding. is is more people get involved, more research. Right. Just like we were, we were talking about uh, things like AIDS when it first came right. out, you know. Nobody thought about AIDS as, as something, but they went to work and people realized that and they, uh, you know, came up with some cures. And I think that uh, being a scientist, I think there are cures out there for, oh, sure. but we, all we have to do is work together like uh, uh, Ms. Baltimore has done here on her own. Uh, she is really, and we want to really thank you. And that, that, uh, tell us more about that uh, fair. I talked about it, but I, I just, <laughs> the uh, the yeah, walk. Yeah, the walk. Well, you the gonna walk. are you gonna have another one? Uh, yes, next year. Next uh, year it's gonna be, be annual. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be annual. Uh -huh. We will do it each year. Uh huh. Good. We will do it. Yeah, and I, uh, I'm sure quite a few people know that I used to have an annual gala in Prince George's County, and I did that for nine years. Is that right? And uh, yeah, it was a, I had a gala each year uh, to uh, honor our elected officials and CEOs of oh. Prince George's County. And I will be doing the same thing with, uh, with mm -hmm. the uh, walk. I'll be doing it each year. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse and me. the gala that I had, I'm <coughs> going to be, bless you, I'm going to be switching <laughs> it over. Got something here. To, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be switching it over to no, uh, so you're going to have bore. that's going to be but it it'll, it'll be tree wars game. Mm -hmm. You're going to switch that bore. over. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So the, if from now on we will have a tree bore all so, time. So so uh, 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 this organization you have monthly meetings. So how do you uh, well, communicate? Well, we uh, the walk raise money, mm -hmm, right. and there's other things that we've done. We've had uh, seed. It's just like mm -hmm. they have meet and greets. Mm -hmm. We have people, mm -hmm. neighbors, organizations mm -hmm. that believe in this. And okay, has. you heard it right here on the Ed Brown Show. <laughs> this it will be coming back to you. Uh, maybe you can volunteer. This center is very important. Other jurisdictions have centers like that. Prince George County, Mrs. Baltimore has taken it on her own to develop something that, that's needed here in the county. So all of you volunteer. If you want to volunteer for something, this is a great thing. Take care. This has been Ed Brown. If you could sit with me, imagine what you'd see if every child had a book to read. So the mission is for us to get a book to each and every child. <laughs> so let's join hands, book people unite. On earth, head and passion. Come on, we'll have a good time. One book could be the one Change a life. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition.